In this episode of SV Merci, we arrive at Puerto Escondido and stay for 10 whole days. What can we say? We got out of the storm's way and then reprovisioned, hiked, worked, did laundry, met a bunch of cool people, and then realized we were getting a little too comfortable with dock life. So here are some snippets of our time in this town before going back to life at Anchor. Going on a hike today. I'm trying to get ready for your daddy to take you. I don't know where we're hiking. Matt went there yesterday. It's finally not too windy, so we're comfortable enough going out. So you want to point to where we're going? Okay. Yeah. Nice. I like it too. I like seeing your face. Are you recording? <laughs> Matt shaved. It looks nice. Um, <laughs> did you have a beer club, beard fan club going for you? Uh, you have a handsome face and it's nice to see. Zephyr walking himself. Good boy, let it soak in. Good boy. Oh, is a good boy. Oh, yeah. Okay. What'd you do, Zephyr? Did you just rub your nose in the dirt? Boy, dirty, so dirty. Okay. okay, good boy. Okay, bye bye. Good boy. Okay. Do you need help getting him on your back? Yeah, so. Okay. Oh, you got your arms out. Here's our little prince. Here's your arms. You got your arms out. He got. He, he has his arms out. I'm make sure that he's not stuck. But okay. <laughs> I'll adjust it. Oh, we're going that way. <laughs> okay, good boy. Good boy. Let me get a picture too. <laughs> Matt just realized that our dog is armless. <laughs> Call me slow. Yeah. He has no arms. Born without him. Yeah, he's special. But not for a dog. Just for a bean. Or maybe not. Deep thoughts. Yes. He has no feet. He has paws. These so are what late. we think about on our deep meditative hikes. is kicking my ass. Thought I was in better shape. Uh, I try and work out quite a few times a week, but this whew, it's a steep hike and I guess I haven't been hiking in a while. I've been walking long distances, but not uphill. And it's only 3.1 kilometers, I think the whole hike and oh my gosh I guess I gotta do more hikes while we're here we are working less and I mean kind of we are learning how to budget our time and save work for half days and then try and do something fun although we're preparing all our finances for taxes and 
that's involved. The view here is absolutely beautiful. That was pretty exhausting. What do you think? I liked it. He but did yeah. it twice already. It's a long walk. <laughs> I'm going to be sore tomorrow. I Rocky can walk. How did you like it, Zephyr? Yeah, that was a good workout. Come on, boy. What are you doing? Let's go. <sighs> I have no more words. Hola! We made it to Puerto Escondido the other day. We are in a smaller version of the harbor. Here's our boat. It's Puerto Escondido's back marina. It's really nice actually. It's really protected. The wind's been gnarly, but it's supposed to subside tomorrow. Everyone that works here is really nice. All the staff, the front desk, uh, just everyone has been really helpful. So one thing I didn't mention about when we made our way to the dock is that <laughs> our draft is like five foot three inches. And she asked what our draft was before we came in. She said we could get the back. There were points and where I was going to our slip, that there was less of a foot beneath us. That was a little nerve wracking. We met one guy who had a 6.5 foot draft <laughs> and he scraped the bottom. So, if you come here and they tell you to go to the back, maybe see if it's high tide. <laughs> I think it was low tide at the time, but not sure. Yeah, we were lucky that we were able to get a slip at, kinda at the last minute. We had reservations for next week, but then a windstorm came up and we figured we better hide away with 30 knot gusts coming up. So we came here and luckily they had a slip for us. It's the one good thing about having such a small boat. Uh, but I'm willing to sacrifice that. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see what I say when we get a bigger boat. Even though it's kind of isolated from any other towns in Baja, this marina was definitely one of the nicest and they're continuing to make it even nicer. There's not a whole lot here, but there's enough. And there's the market. We have amazing stuff there. The office is up there and going to the laundry right now. Got my laundry folded and gonna head back to the boat. There's the pickleball court to the right, which has become increasingly popular. I actually don't mind going and doing laundry. As long as it's within walking distance and we haven't experienced anything that hasn't been in walking distance, but we don't mind walking for a while. <laughs> it's probably about, I think I have three weeks of laundry in my laundry bag. Not too bad. I wear everything twice, just unless it, I get really sweaty and gross, but it's winter here, so hasn't been 
even very warm. So nothing's getting nasty, sweaty, gross. One of the most awesome things about the marina is this. Thank you, Mr. Gate. And there's Merci tucked away in the back harbor. Matt set up a meetup today at the coffee place. We'll see if anyone shows up. He announced it on the cruiser's net, but apparently there's a pickleball contest going on. <laughs> So we'll see if we're sitting there by ourselves or if not everyone's into pickleball here. Yay! Our little meetup was successful. We met a lot of people. So that was fun. I'm glad we met Carol Ann and James and Teresa and Steve and Jim and Mary Ellen. And Guy, I think that's everyone that we met. Um, yeah, it was fun and we're going hiking tomorrow with a little group in the canyon, which Matt's been dying to do. Hmm. Yay! We moved to another dock today. This one's really close. We're right by the office and the market which is nice, bathroom, showers, laundry. So we lucked out. Uh, we're going on a hike today, I think. I hope it's not too long after the hike we went on the other day, but I'll try my best. Uh, we're going with a few other people. That'll be fun. Hiking to Boar Canyon was probably the highlight of our time in Puerto Escondido, especially since we got to spend time hiking it with our very new friends, Steve, Sonia, and Michael. The hike wasn't exactly easy, but it was definitely amazing, and hopefully we'll do it again next time we're back in Puerto Escondido. We only spent a few hours in Laredo. I can't tell you much about it. It didn't seem to have a lot coming from a cruiser's perspective, but maybe next time we'll have to take a tour around the town and see what else it has to offer. That's an interesting little building. <laughs> Escondido and we are going to leave in two days so we're heading out to dinner we haven't had dinner here yet at the dinner place so food is expensive here so we're we haven't been out to eat much so bright no it looks good See you out there. Okay. And there's the restaurant. This is the coolest thing though. They have our fingerprints and they just cross. It's like being in a spy movie. But we're not spies. There's Nothing to spy on here. Mm.
it's Sunday, February 4th. Happy birthday, Kelly! We are getting ready to leave Puerto Escondido tomorrow, so we've been enjoying the conveniences of land life, but now we're ready to go anchor again. I like both, but I am ready to move on. And we need to start, not hustle, but we need to kind of get going north, north up to Puerto Escondido. And we haven't even gotten halfway up <laughs> the Sea of Cortez. Unfortunately, we haven't gotten to visit everywhere that we've wanted to just because of the, we're going north and we need to get in really safe anchorages. We need to get in safe anchorages during the really gnarly northern winds. One's coming up later this week, so we're gonna go to San Juanico. San Juanico, I still don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, what do you think, Zephyr? Are you ready? Are you ready to move on? You ready to move on? You're my boo. I love you. I love you. Yeah, I'm gonna take a little walk hike today. And I think I'm gonna take a shower. I'm gonna take one now before the water starts getting colder at the marina shower, but it doesn't make sense to take it before our walk hike. And we went food provisioning at the little market here, mainly just to get produce. They have a good produce selection and that's priced really well. All the other stuff is super expensive. So if you're from the Bay Area and thinking you're gonna save money in Mexico, at least in Baja, you're not. It's pretty much the same prices here. Sometimes, well, it's more for alcohol, I think. That's gotten drinks that are ridiculously expensive. Um, Guess what else I found? What? I think it's a Baja filter oh. for uh, diesel. It has three levels oh. of filtration. Where are we going to put that? Next to the other filter. The other filter only has one level and it always keeps a little puddle oh. at the bottom, which is annoying. Where'd they you find that? Anymore. Um, I found it in the laundry room near the. Oh, the nice. Uh, People give stuff away in the laundry room. That's what happens in the laundry room. So, even if you don't need to do laundry, check out laundry rooms at all the marinas. There could right. be something there special free for stuff. you. We love free stuff. Free stuff! Zephyr loves free stuff because he doesn't have any money. I'm gonna walk around the bay. It was pretty. Daddy, you ready for daddy? He's coming, he'll come. Matt found some salt. It's pretty cool. This is how you catch salt, I guess. There it is. Awesome. I I've never seen that before. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Summers have never seen Neat. that before. Yeah, good find. Pretty cool. I am doing a test to see how bright this is. How bright are you? Do you think you're bright? <laughs> Pretty balanced. Okay. I'm bright and I'm also well lit. <laughs> I'm bright and I am also well lit. Who do you think is brighter? <laughs> Wait and find out. <laughs> <laughs> 
or don't. I look bright with these on. Now. 